Welcome, everybody, to the first episode of Super Hostile Isolation, the newest map from Vex, the creator of the CTM genre. The last map that he released was Inferno Mines, I do believe, and that was for version 1.5 or 1.6, so it was years ago. We haven't seen something from Vex in quite a long time. I've been looking forward to this. I do know that a beta was released uh, like a month or so ago, and he got feedback, and now he has released the official f version. Uh, I did not want to play the beta version, even though it was leaked online. Um, I've been trying to shield myself from spoilers, even though I have been spoiled on quite a few things. But uh, anyways, I, I have been looking forward to the map. It was released, and I saw that it was released almost immediately after finishing The Sower, which is the last map that I played from RenderXR, an amazing map. And uh, you know, at the time I said I wasn't sure what I was going to play, but then this came out, and so here we are. This is what I assume is the starting area. This is an interesting, <laughs> in interesting starting area. Um, black concrete. This is the bane of my existence. I freaking hate this block. The starting area seems like it was probably made by somebody who discovered black concrete and thought it was amazing, even though it's it's absolutely terrible. Anyways, uh, super hostile online. Wait, what? Oh, he's. I guess he's advertising super hostile online, which I used to play. I just kind of got bored with it. The dungeons weren't. Um, it just it just didn't really seem worth it. There wasn't a lot of gameplay involved. Anyways, welcome to Super Hostile Isolation by Vex. It's for version 1.12.2. Uh, enable command blocks. We don't need to worry about that. A huge thank you to my wonderful patrons. And yada, yada, yada. Start the map. Let's go ahead and read these other signs over here. Can we jump off? What happens if we jump off? Yep, we can jump off, and then we die. I guess that's that's the new version of the idiot test. Apparently, I really should go back and play um, play legendary again. I think a lot of good memories with that map, and still one of my favorites. I think and waking up, waking up as well. Okay, this is just a bunch of thank yous to people. Uh, oh, there's something. Maybe this is the idiot, idiot test. How? 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 Okay, I can't, can we, ugh, nope, I can't read that. You might be able to pause the video. There's also, like, a sign or something down on the bottom there. I wonder if I, nope, I won't get to keep that torch because we just died. Okay, whatever, let's, let's read the signs, shall we? Uh, why did I wait so long to code this part in? Um, this map is easy. Uh, okay, yep, lovely. Let's go ahead and get to it. Definitely a, a different start than many of these other maps. Let's see what we have in store for us. Um, let's see here. It was just another typical cargo run, another day, another paycheck. Your airship creaked as it steadily crept over the frozen ocean below the large craft, hauling tons of chests, managing a stately pace. Then a freak storm swirled around you, knocked off course. You tried in vain to steer to safety. But your ship clipped the side of an ice spike, damaging an engine. Your craft trailing smoke, the last thing you remember was the trill of a warning chime and the swirling, stinging hail on your face. You waken amongst the wreckage in some long-forgotten glacier, and a sense of dread overwhelms you. Welcome to your isolation. So the, one of the things that's been spoiled for me is the temperature mechanic. Uh, apparently you have to try to stay warm in this map. And if you get too cold, then you will experience various debuffs. Interesting starting area. An anvil? Really? Wow, okay. Right off the bat. Oh my gosh. Okay. He's, he's just, he's given us everything, isn't he? That seems quite, quite generous, I must say. Cobble. Coal block, armor, ladders, bed. Again, very different feel to many of its other maps where you would start off with almost nothing. Ince, press tab to check your temperature. Well, that was a huge jump. We went from 23 to 6. I think we used torches to heat ourselves up. 
Zero temp is most comfortable. Minus 1,000 and 1,000 are deadly. Okay, wear armor to protect yourself. The more armor points, the better. Oh, wait, so that means if we get diamond armor, we, the temperature mechanic pretty much doesn't function at all? Uh, okay. Interesting. I'm really surprised about the anvil, though. Let's go ahead and make ourselves a pick. One of the first things that we want to do. And probably make ourselves as many torches as we can as well. Although I don't know if we're going to have much other wood to use. We need to take a look around, I suppose. Is this real wood? Are you a real boy? Uh, nope, those are slabs. Okay. Whoa! Um... I guess this is our wreckage, right? This is the plane? Or our ship? Our, our airship? Skymaster 200 airship engine. This seems, seems like a terrible, terrible engine. Fueling port danger. Turn engine off when refueling. Uh, okay. Well, that, that stopped it. Are you real stone? It's real stone, too. Wow, okay. Vex is being very, very generous in this map, I must say. And and we even have a furnace. We could potentially use the dis the uh, piston for something. I don't know if we'll use the com comparative. But yeah, let's go ahead and grab all of this stone. And it looks like there is wood around. So again, ample ample resources. Which uh, I was I was a huge fan of like waking up in Legendary where you start off with like basically nothing. Is that a coal block? Oh, yeah, it is. Wow, okay. Again, lots and lots of goodies. Wood, stone, coal, food, a half a stack of food, which is a lot of food. But we'll have to see how large the areas are and whatnot. It doesn't seem like there's any mobs. What are we at? We're in Taiga. We are, what are we on? Okay, we're on hard. I'm surprised there's no mobs though. Let's uh, let's search for goodies. I'm gonna go ahead and make an axe. Is what I'm gonna do, so that we can collect all this wood here. Okay, I'm starting to see some debuffs. Our temperature is currently at negative two hundred. Does that start to drop our temperature? No. I thought torches would do that, but apparently not. Yeah, no, it's still it's still going down. I'm wondering if there's anything hidden here. Well, I guess we will we will find that out by looking. I'm not really sure how the debuffs work. I just seem to occasionally get hunger. But then it goes away. So I, I'm hoping that there's a better explanation of the mechanics, but maybe not. Maybe we just have to kind of learn as we go. I do not know. Oh, there's bedrock there. Uh, that's probably just for spawning in. I'm wondering if there's anything hidden here at the start. I'm guessing if we block up, we'll probably find some kind of easter egg or something. Does being inside help? Will this start to... No, my temperature is still going down. Oh, and the way that the debuffs work, that's really annoying. How do you... How do you warm yourself up, then? I did put on the armor. I don't know if we'll need those, but we'll go ahead and take them, I suppose. What if I, like, surround myself in torches? Does that do anything? It, it's 
Oh, you might hear my daughter in the background. It's certainly going down slower now, but it's still going down. Okay, well. Uh, I don't want to freeze to death, so let's... Gosh, I, I'm just, I'm thinking there might be something hidden out here. Whatever, whatever. Let's, 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 let's go into this cave. And see if we can start to warm ourselves up a little bit. What about glowstone? Does glowstone do anything? Well, my temperature has stopped going down. But that's it. It's not it's not going up. This is not good, you guys. How do you how do we What about a furnace? Will a furnace do anything? Do I have anything to cook? I guess we can cook up some wood, right? Oh, that seems to lower it significantly. Oh yeah. Okay, that's so we just got to sit here and stand in front of the furnace. Very exciting. Very exciting. Okay. I'm going to wait until my temperature gets back up to about zero. So I'll, uh, I'll see you guys in about ten minutes or so. <laughs> Having to go to tab is kind of annoying. I wish that there were um, some kind of indicator up here or a scoreboard or something that would show the temperature. And no mobs yet. Okay, well, I, I guess we're going to get a little bit above zero just, just so I don't get too cold too fast. Okay, well, that's that's it. Let's just go ahead and grab our things and go. Maybe we will discover something up ahead definitely a kind of classic vex style here um it goes down there's also this thing over here is there anything up above oh and there's a chest over there too See about grabbing that first and foremost. Wow, okay. I'm surprised he's being this this generous. Um, I'll take the shields. I'm going to hold off on using them. I don't know what the difficulty is going to be in this map. In general, I feel like shields make things way too easy. But if, if the difficulty is high, then I may opt for the shield. Especially if there's a lot of creepers and stuff. A lot of skeletons. Although at this point, there's still, there's still, there's still no mobs. Which I think is really interesting. There is a chest here. What? This is still the start of the map, right? I didn't accidentally like go to the end of it or something. And arrows of harming. Wow, okay. My inventory is already full. Do we really want to waste any of this? I mean, I don't have any levels yet, so it doesn't matter. What's our temperature at? We're already down to 106 again. So, yeah, I'm going to have to... I just need, like, a portable furnace or something. It goes down right there, but let's hop across and see where this takes us. I'm starting to think something's broken. Although this has been beta tested, and this is the official release, but... But there are no mobs. 
is making me think I've done something wrong. There's a little little staircase here for us. Let's go ahead and hop on down. And see what kind of trouble we can get into. Okay, some darkness? No, no, never mind, never mind. I thought we were maybe going into a cave or something. Okay, we're at the bottom of the ravine now. We got ourselves another chest. Oh, wow, okay. Uh, I don't think we're going to need you. Let's uh, put away the shield and the carrots. And definitely take the wheat. I don't think we'll need the clock. Grab the sand. I do want to kind of grab some of that stuff, but whatever. We can always come back for it if need be. Okay, and the iconic 3x3 three three hallways. And what looks to be the iconic intersection as well. Intersection number one. We have the Melting Dead, Geothermal Plant, and Boreal Valley. Are there any secrets in the intersection? Um... No. It's not as far as I can tell. Let me set some stuff up, some chests, and consolidate gear and whatnot, and then I will be right back with you. Alright, so I've just kind of been posting up here, cooking all this fish. What happens if I run out of things to cook? Then I'm basically dead? Is that how that works? We need trees then soon, or water and a fishing pole. I'm not sure where I want to go first. I mean, if we work on the assumption that it, it's clockwise, then we should go to Boreal Valley first, although geothermal plant sounds like a good place to go. It also looks to be the most friendly. There's light and stuff this way. Wait, why do I have... What in the heck is going on, man? Why, why would I have weakness and mining fatigue? Huh. Whatever. Let's, uh, let's head into the first dungeon. And see what kind of tricks Vex has up his sleeve in this map. We got plenty of food. Plenty of gear. Oh, there's command blocks. Oh, you know what I was going to do? I was going to put smite on my sword. Duh. If we can. I don't know if we can even put the smite four on our, on our sword. Because we don't have any levels. It's going to cost four. Okay, fine. We'll take you with us. Then, and hopefully, we run into some mobs soon. Or some coal or something to give us some levels. The buildings look very reminiscent of Inferno Mines. Kind of same design. Uh, heading out. Tally's awesome checklist. Warm clothing, backup clothing, extra food tools. Yeah, we got all we got all that stuff. I feel like I'm getting frame rate lag, but I guess I'm just imagining that. All the dead dead trees and frozen water we do have like a little base here i don't know who tally is you are not alone you deserve love whoa really i guess i didn't need to set up that little base there did i there's iron and gold 
Oh, and he's given us saplings. Okay. Well, never mind. I was thinking we were going to have to fight for those. There's a backup armor and some blank chests. What was this one? Blocks. Oh, yes, please. I don't mind if I do. I was worried I was going to run out of... Oh, run out of uh, wood there. Uh, Tally's room. I guess we'll go ahead and set our spawn. What is that? Maintenance access danger. Huh. Interesting. Something tells tells me that natural spawns are just off. I thought maybe he just had a lot of honey pots around, but considering we haven't seen a single mob, I think natural spawns are off, which is an interesting choice and one that I uh, typically agree with. Because I think it gives the map maker more control over the player's experience. But right now things are just feeling very, very empty. Use boxes of parts to build an airship from scratch. I guess we gotta rebuild our airship. That means this is not this is not an area. Is this basically the monument? Oh, chest with a snowmaster. Okay. I guess if we need any snow, we can get it easily. Okay, so then we need to head back to the other areas. How's my temperature looking? I'm already in the negatives. I don't seem to be getting any debuffs, so that means... It almost seems like we want to keep it within plus or minus 200. Is my best guess at this point. Alright, well let's head to Boreal Valley since... That is the first location clockwise. Oh, big, big area it looks like. Okay. We do have trees. And dirt. There's a giant bridge looking thing over there. With water? What is this? Let me through. Let me through. I forget we're in 1.12, not 1.13, which is why we cannot swim fast. Is this going to be a shortcut to the... Oh, yep, indeed. Okay. Interesting, we've already gone full circle. And we have grass for seeds, so we can grow wheat if we want to. Um, where are we going first? Probably want to head to this structure. It looks like it's a, a bridge that's kind of fallen to pieces. Again, very reminiscent of some of the stuff that I saw on Super Hostile Online. Tally's Awesome Outpost. Once again, I don't know who Tally is. We got a furnace, but I don't have anything to cook, really. More armor. Just basic, basic stuff. Temperature's getting kind of low. I don't know if that's just a lighting glitch, or if that might be a secret. I don't really see anything. Oh, there is... A staircase. Let's go down first. And see what we can find. Nothing? 
There's nothing here? Huh, okay. That seems odd. There's some glowstone and a rail cart path. Is there anything up on top? Um, we can go that direction, or we can go back. Let's go, let's go back. I'm going to guess now that it's just a lighting glitch that I saw over there. Or wait, nope, I got turned around. Maybe it's not a lighting glitch then. Let's go this way. Right, we want to head back the direction that we came. Perhaps... Oh, you know what? Um, I think I'd rather just not bridge all that way. <laughs> let's let's take the stairs back down. Let's get out of here. I I do. I need to. I need to get something to cook. I can make a furnace. Let's just grab some wood so that we can cook up some charcoal. I suppose. Oh, this snow is really really annoying. Just. Just, you cannot see anything. Alright, I need to sit in front of a furnace for a little while. I'll be back with you guys here shortly. Alright, well I had to cook up pretty much all of that wood that I just chopped down in order to get my temperature kind of sort of up. But look how fast it's going down. More water. That's good to see. We can set up farms and stuff. The rail carts are certainly reminding me of Inferno Mines. Um, what's this all about? Yeah, we're already back down into the negatives. What in the heck? What? Okay, um, <laughs> how, did, how did we go from intersection 1 to intersection 2? And we have yet to encounter a mob. I really, I, I'm starting to think I, like, downloaded the wrong version. Something is wrong. Right, let's go ahead and bridge across. It's going to go through most of the blocks that I have, I think. But it'll be quicker than going all the way down and trying to find a path up. I keep thinking there's going to be like a skeleton spawner. Or some kind of surprise here. But that's pretty well lit, so... Yep, no, we're, we're okay. I don't know, maybe Vex is playing around with... Layout. We have more of these towers. There was nothing at the bottom or top of the other two. And nothing at the top of this one either. Is this going to take us to intersection 3 then? Maybe, maybe that's how it's laid out, and then we have basically the Victory Monument and then the very first area in Intersection 1. It is taking us to a new area, Windchill Tundra. Okay, we're starting to see some more stuff. There's a structure up there, a structure up there. I'm going to have to chop down some more wood to cook, I think. I almost feel like we should just take the rail cart up. I don't think we found any any carts themselves, though. Huh. Let's maybe check out this very first structure that we saw. And see what we can find. 
I feel like I need to stop and cook some things though. I thought for sure I just saw an arrow. Is this all just one giant structure? Oh, I think it is. Interesting. Does that mean there's not a proper entrance? If we need wood to cook, we have as much as we will ever need. Nothing. Did Vex, like, forget to put spawners in the map? Oh, and why the half slabs? That's so annoying. There is a staircase in here. Once again, I really... F oh, oh I, I heard something. I heard a mob, I think. Like, right as I broke it, I was thinking, I probably don't want to break this. It's the first spawner that we found. Where did the mob even go? Interesting. Okay, well, at least we found signs of life. Uh, I guess if we need arrows... They are here for us. Huh. Okay, I hear, I hear the skelly. And it is a skelly, so let's equip our shield real quick. Never mind, he is a skelly with a sword. Hello. These guys actually seem like they're probably going to be pretty tough. They're just, they're just dying. Hey, we got some iron pants. Is that going to help with my temperature? We're still getting the debuffs. Hey, but my temperature isn't going down anymore. Is that just because we're on the... Oh, it's, it's actually going up. Huh. Okay. Yeah, there's more bones right there. Which means there's most likely another spawner right here. Or is it inside? Gosh, I am so confused, you guys. I guess they could be um, long-range spawners or something. I don't see any other mobs, though. I know we heard them. Anybody home? No. And it's just the same thing over here. Okay. Perhaps we should head for a different looking building. I am low on blocks and I need to sit by a furnace. Well, whatever, just in case there is something down there. Um, I guess let's go ahead and make those just as a backup. Okay. How do you work? Are you a long range spawner? Uh, 
Did I just see it flare up? Let's see what the, the spawner range is. Um, actually, let's go down. Still active. And still active. Okay, so they are long range spawners. From what I can tell. Oh yeah, they're very long range spawners. Well, they don't seem to be spawning anything because it's light outside is my guess. Well, making farms out of these is going to be a bit more challenging then. Um, let's just put a little bit of light down and block it off so that if something does spawn, it can't get to us. And here we have the main windmill thing. Guess we should probably head over there. Let's refresh torches. And check things out, although I really do need to warm myself up a little bit. Well, we got food for days, so you're never going to run out of food. another spawner this one will probably be easier to make a grinder out of I imagine but it does not seem to be spawning things I'm assuming that's just supposed to be oh gosh uh, run away run away run away Okay, finally, some action. Skeleton at arms. And he could probably two-shot me is what it looked like. But if we can grind their gear... We already got, like, Protection 4 stuff, I think. Blast Protection 4. It'd actually be... Uh, good, good idea. Okay, so, first episode, we have made it to what I think is maybe the first area, although this feels maybe a bit too difficult for the first area, but we've actually kind of gotten a sense for how things work in the map. Um, we encountered two mobs, and already have some iron armor and some powerful enchanting books, and, uh, oh, sharpness sword and tons of gear anyways you guys that's gonna be it for me for today thanks for watching everybody hope you enjoyed and i will see you next time